Hello, my name is Trenton Motley and I'm the HMS ERG Manager here at OcuScience. Today we will be showing you the proper way to perform an ERG in a veterinary setting as well as some tricks to keep in mind as you are using our machines. We will be performing an ERG on a dog without sedation as this can be one of the trickiest ERGs to perform. First thing you will want to do is make sure you have all of the necessary items set out that you will need to perform the ERG like we do here. We will also provide a list so that way you are able to take a picture and know exactly what items we are using. Today I will be using Preparacane, Tropicamide, Goniovisc, a red LED headlamp, tape to keep the electrodes in place once they are on the dog, and we are only doing a single channel ERG so I will only use two subdermal needle electrodes and one RETMAP K9 single-use contact lens electrode. We will also use a Velcro strap or this could also be a badge clip or any clip of some sort to keep the pod connected to the dog's collar as this makes running the ERG a lot easier. And we will also of course be using our HMS ERG unit here. Before getting started with the machine setup, we will apply the prepare cane and also the tropicamide to the dog's eye to allow it to start working. Something to keep in mind is that you will want to dark adapt the dog for at least 20 minutes prior to performing the test. To do this, we will turn off the lights in our lab room and use an overhead red lamp that we have previously installed. We will also be using our red LED headlamp for up-close viewing. After the preparacane and tropicamide are applied, we will set a timer for 15 minutes. We will step out of the room during this 15 minutes and we will take the ERG machine with us so that way we can set it up in a normal lighting condition. Now that the 20 minutes are up, the first thing we are going to do is attach this pod cable to the dog's collar using this Velcro strap. Like that. We do that so there's a less chance of the electrodes being pulled out as the dog is on the table and we are hooking everything up. We will now start placing electrodes. The first one is the green subdermal ground electrode. With applying the electrodes, the second person is always helpful so that they can hold the dog while you are placing the electrodes. You can see my partner here showing you the best way to hold the dog for this process. One hand under the chin, and one on the back or on, on the stomach. Now, the ground electrode is placed on the occiput on the back of the head, like so and a piece of tape is applied to hold it in place. And now the other side of the electrode can be plugged into the pod box in the ground position. The next electrode is the white reference electrode. This electrode is placed between the pina of the ear and the lateral canthus of the eye approximately two centimeters from the lateral canthus. Again, a piece of tape is applied so that the electrode does not come out as we are performing the test. And the white electrode can be placed into the pod box into the reference of either A or B channel. The final electrode is going to be the RMK9 lens electrode. We will take the gonio visc and fill this up about halfway. We don't want to go all the way as we want it to make a sort of suction cup effect. And if we fill it up all the way, it has a high likeliness of drooping and falling out. Get that placed right on the eye there. And take a piece of tape.
take the right into place there. And we will place the other side into the pod. Now that all the electrodes are put in, we can now connect the pod cable to the ERG main unit. You can do this by putting it into the side and it only clicks in one way. And you'll hear it click. Be sure not to force it in as it can damage the pins inside. Now before performing the test, we will want to check the electrodes and make sure they are making good connection. We'll do this by pressing the green electrodes button and making sure we are on the correct channel by pressing the yellow channel button. You can verify which channel you're on by the front of the pod box. We are using channel A left eye, so channel A OS, and we will then press manual. You'll have this little graph on the top of the screen and when, with a blue line that's jumping up and down. When the blue line stabilizes, the two dots on the right of the screen will turn green. After they turn green, we will immediate press, immediately press the plus impedance button and you will get your impedance values for the eye in reference. Ideally, you want these under 5,000, but slightly above is okay. Now that we have checked the electrodes, we'll go ahead and press the blue back button. And now we are ready to run the test on the dog's eye. And we are now ready to put the ERG up to the dog's eye and press run protocol. When the protocol is done, you will see end of protocol here at the bottom and the test will the graph will display right on screen. It will also automatically save to the CF card. One thing to be sure of is before pulling the CF card out for post processing, you press the back button, the back button again, the blue quit button and shut down. This will prevent any card errors happening. Now that the test is over and we have turned off the unit, we can now un disconnect the pod by just pulling out on it, and that can be set off to the side. We will now start removing electrodes, starting with the eye electrode, setting that off to the side. Next electrode will be the reference. We'll set that. We'll unplug that from the pod since it has a sharp on it. We'll set that way off to the side. And lastly will be the ground. We'll pull that one out. Unplug it from the pod as well. And also set that one way off to the side. We can now remove the pod from the dog's collar. Now that the test is over and the dog is out of the room and we have normal lighting conditions again, we can begin cleaning the electrodes. The first thing you want to do is take your RMK9 lens electrode and let it soak in some distilled water for 20 to 30 minutes. Then, we can begin cleaning these subdermal needle electrodes. We will take an alcohol prep wipe, clean off this tip really, really well. We'll even get back on the thick part here at the base. And now that can be set to air dry. We will do the same thing with the other needle electrode. Give it a good wipe down like that. And that will also be set to air dry. After the 20 minutes is up, 
we will take the RM lens electrode and we will wipe it down with some isopropyl alcohol. Now that the 20 minutes are up for the RM lens to soak, we will take it we will agitate it in the water. Rather than scraping, this will be sure to get all of the leftover gonio visque off. Give it a nice shake. Take one Q-tip. Since these have a gold ring, we were able to actually rub them with a Q-tip and not worry about the ring coming off. Now, we'll take some isopropyl alcohol, give that a spritz, take another Q-tip, get that wiped down real nice. And we'll let that one air dry as well. Now that the needle electrodes have air dried, we'll go ahead and put the needle back into the foam covering. Wrap that up real nice. And then place it back in the baggie. And we will do that again with both the white reference electrode and the RM lens. You can see here that even with an awake one-year-old puppy, we were still able to get a very good ERG with only a 60 hertz filtering and a low pass filtering. Thank you for watching this instructional video on how to do an ERG on an awake dog without sedation. We will provide a link to our store where you can purchase all of the items that we use today.